Hey everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. I'm going to teach you how to make as many respect points as possible per season. And as you can see, this season I've earned 1,124,766,000 respect points so far. And I'm going to show you how I do this. I think it's really easy to be hit between 800,000 and 1 million every season. Now there's two things you gotta do here, all right? You gotta do a lot of live racing, and you have to have the right car for that. So I'm gonna make this a two-part video. The next video is gonna be all about live racing and what to look for in a live racing car and all that good stuff. And this video is gonna be about the Prestige Cup and getting this Prestige Cup car every season. All right, if you look at this little chart I made, you can get 472,000 respect points every season just by getting the Prestige Cup car and competing all the little events, the events that require the Prestige Cup car. All right, so I'm going to teach you how to get it and all that kind of good stuff. So you're going to need to save all of your silver keys for one. You're going to need to spend your silver keys to get the Prestige Cup car. You don't want to spend those silver keys except for when you're trying to get it because sometimes all right let's go into rare imports right here this is where you get the car and right now the the offer is down they've taken it down already but usually you can spend your silver keys and you'll see a little banner up here that'll say there's a 10x chance of winning a specific car so every season which roughly lasts two weeks there's going to be a new car for the prestige cup and right now the 10x chance is down, but when it is up, that does not mean you're going to win it every 10 tries. It just means you're 10 times more likely to win that car by using your keys. And it takes 50 key, silver keys to try to get this car. Now most of the time I get the car within 1 to 5 tries, and then I stop trying. As soon as I get it, I like to stop trying because I want to make sure I've got enough silver keys saved up for next season, and the season after that, and the season after that. Because every once in a while, I don't get that car right away. And you'll see down here there's a loyalty reward. When this Prestige Cup car is up, every 15 pulls, you're guaranteed to get it. So sometimes it'll take me all 15 pulls. Like this golden cup still up. So you can see over here there's a 20x chance to get this car with golden keys. Well, it's the same thing for the silver keys. Unfortunately, they just took this down. But I'm sure you get the idea. It's usually the same thing except for it'll say a, a 10x chance. Over here, if you use 10 sets of keys uh, you, you for the loyalty award, you're guaranteed to win this. It's crazy hard. I only get about one try worth of gold keys every season. So trying to get enough gold keys to get this is ridiculous. But anyways, this is how you get the Prestige Cup car. Now once you get it, you have to get a bunch of parts in it to be able to complete the Prestige Cup. Now first off, for 500 bronze keys, you can get parts for this car. So I also like to save my bronze keys. I just spent 20,000 bronze keys to max this car out. Now Honda parts are actually really rare. That's the only reason I spent 20,000 keys. Usually I would not spend that money. But I had like four Hondas and I wanted to max out. But anyways, that's one way to get parts for this car is by spending all these bronze keys. Now another way to get parts for this car is they every season I'd say four or five times maybe I'm not sure exactly how many they have something here called a supply cup so if you complete these supply cup races you're gonna get Honda parts alright so this will give me parts for this season's prestige cup car like I said I think there's four or five of these every season and then there's the prestige cup alright so completing the Prestige Cup, if you do all 30 races, you're going to get 300,000 respect points out of that. There's also these Crew Cups, which are going to require, there's two of these every season, that are either going to require this season's car, which this one, like it says, it requires the LBNSX. That's the only car you can use. But you can see the respect points right here. 
that's what you'll earn by completing these if everybody in your crew wins 25 of these races you can collect all this RP sometimes it'll require last season's car so like the last one last week there was another crew cup up that required last season's prestige cup car so if you beat both of those and you complete the prestige cup that's 472,000 respect points you can get just from just from racing those events right there and completing them all right some seasons I don't per completely complete the prestige cup but I usually get to at least the last race sometimes the last race is very hard to win other seasons it's really easy but even if I don't complete that last race if I do all the other stuff that's still a huge chunk of respect points um now if you go into like a little event like this like every day they have these events here this is like a 15 race thing you're only going to get about two or three hundred respect points from racing an event like this supply cup two to three hundred respect points the crew cup two or three hundred respect points per race so these little normal races barely give you anything so basically the only two ways to earn a lot of respect points are getting the prestige cup car every season and live racing now like they have these other events like the golden cup this is the one you need to win with uh, the golden keys that's really hard to win but these events if you look through the prizes these don't give you any respect points so winning like the gold cup car or there's a car here that you can buy this flash event one there's no respect points in here either so the only two ways to really make a bunch of respect points are getting your prestige cup car and completing all the events required and uh, live racing. All right, that's pretty much it. I find it really easy. I probably run about three tanks of gas every day on live races. And live racing will actually give you silver keys. Every time you win 15 live races, you get like 10 silver keys, I think it is. So those will help you earn more keys. A bunch of these little events will give you key, silver keys and stuff like that. So save up your silver keys. Do not spend those until you're trying to win the Prestige Cup car each season. Once you win it, stop. Don't spend any more. Wait till next season before you start spending them again. Because if you just blow through all those silver keys, there's no guarantee you're going to get that car. And you need it. You need that Prestige Cup car to win that big chunk of respect points every season. Okay? So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, the next video, since I'm going in depth, I'm going to talk about live racing. Certain cars are really good for live racing, others are not. And there's quite a few things that make a car good for live racing. So I'm going to go go into detail on all of that stuff in the next video. So this is part one of two on earning as much RP as possible every season. And uh, I hope this helps. If you like my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Alrighty, thanks.